That would be really cool if I shot videos like this from now on. It's crazy. This used to be an actual restaurant with people that would dine inside. I hate the government so fucking much. I try to practice what I preach as much as possible. I know that I'm hypocritical in certain ways, but we all are. That's just human nature. We can't avoid being hypocrites in some sort of way. But I'd like to think that the stuff that I adamantly believe in, I go out of my way to prove that I believe that. <laughs> For example, see that? Old school. Hear that? Old school. makes me sad that Donald Trump's just a puppet. He might be a different puppet. He might be a funny puppet. He might be a really awesomely offensive puppet because he's offensive for the right reason. But unfortunately, He's not going to save America. And all the fucking dunderheads that actually believe that. I feel sorry for them. You need to have faith in yourself. I don't know why people think we need a leader. I'm not saying I hate him or anything. Because I don't hate anybody. I don't even hate all the pieces of shit that are trying to control us right now. Because that's exactly what they want. They want us to be filled with hatred. So much so that we do something totally irrational and we turn into a... You know, our enemy. But we're supposed to love our enemy. I just feel sorry for people that can't ask questions and they can't just take a step back for five minutes and just get off their phone. Everybody's possessed with demonic spirits because of the internet and the threshold that it has over society. It was kind of obvious that this is the direction we were going to go, but society's too stupid to figure anything out until it's too late. I'm trying not to be too sad about anything, but I'll be honest, I'm like in and out of state of psychosis. They want you to be afraid of yourself. And the more afraid of yourself you are, the more likely you are to do things to hurt yourself. But you don't know that that's what you're doing. I mean, I think about all the products that exist and how much they hurt the public and how there aren't warning labels on any of them. But they have warning labels all over packages of cigarettes, even though it's blatantly obvious that in inhaling smoke is really bad. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's kind of funny that way. Everybody just thinks the public is so stupid, and they're right. <laughs> I know my teeth look like shit. You don't have to tell me I look British. I already know that. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. 
I appreciate your concern. I really need to go to, uh, who are those people that overcharge? Dentist. Dennis! Wow. Dennis. Wow. Let's go to the dentist. My coworkers have no idea I'm shooting a video right now. Because <laughs> the camera is conveniently underneath a table. <laughs> You know, I still believe in peace. And I still believe in love, and I still believe in yin yangs and all that. <laughs> I do. They want to just strip you of your spirit. They want to strip you of any hope or optimism. I mean, it's good to have those things, but you need to have them in the right, the right thing. Like yourself, people you care about, things that you believe in. Don't have faith in the world, because the world will just let you down. The world is a horrible, despicable place. Kind of makes me sad that it's not about to end. Mainly because I can't wait to get out of here. And don't think I'm suicidal. I'm not suicidal. I just really, really hate this world. I do think that a lot of people that commit suicide, it's not because. They want to be selfish. I mean, so many people are selfish every day. It's kind of stupid to complain about people that commit suicide. I don't really get that. I mean, say, say you had two options. You could either kill yourself or you could do something really terrible to other people that was worse than suicide but for whatever reason we deem suicide the most selfish thing that anybody can do does that make any sense? I don't think it does but there's lots of stuff that I don't think makes any sense but so many people just recite it like it's you know, gospel or something. That's gospel. And you still have to figure it out for yourself. Don't let anybody try to tell you what's in this book. And I think it's really important discovering God outside of the book, too. It's important discovering God through nature. It's important discovering God through yourself. You know, a lot of people read the scripture, but, you know, if you don't have that personal relationship, it really doesn't mean anything. I prayed to a tree next to Bank of America. I used to do that every day on my break at McDonald's. That was a long time ago, when I was like 21 years old. I just turned 35, but you would never guess it. <laughs> I still feel like I'm eight sometimes. 
but I guess that's a good thing. It means that I have that childlike quality about me, but I hear my name being called, so I'm gonna do my job. <laughs>